All right, so the men's draw for the Canadian Open has just come out, and we've just gone through the women's draw, so we'll go through the men's uh, as well, and it's a really interesting draw, but we do have a lot of big names not playing on the men's side of things. So let's go through the withdrawals. So the men's side of this event are missing some big names, some big, big names. Starting at the top, we've got Roberto Batista He's not playing. Carino Busta, the defending champion, he is not playing. Marin Cilic, he's not playing. Uh, Djokovic also not playing this event. Hashinov pulling out as well. Kyrgios having to pull out as well, with Shapovalov also not playing and Struff has also entered the list as well of not playing this event because he must still be injured I mean Struff has had a lot of injuries since the French Open here is the top of the draw you can see there we've got 16 seeds the top eight seeds get a buy in the first round Alcaraz he gets a buy in the first round he will take on the winner of Shelton versus Morales Shelton versus Alcaraz second round that is so much fun that is so much fun uh then we've got a qualifier taking on Kecmanovic winner of that will take on either Bublik or the number 15 seed Hercatch Hercatch versus Alcaraz third round that's insane that could be really really fun then you got the number 12 seed Paul taking Taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Galanyu or Sarundalo in the second round. Then we've got Rosavori taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on the number five seed, Holger Runa, in the second round. Alcaraz Runa quarterfinal potentially, but there are some tough matches. Paul was the guy who beat Alcaraz last year here, so that could be interesting if we get a rematch there. Sarundalo's been in form this year, not just on clay. Uh, he could be dangerous for Runa, for example. And then Rosavori has been good as well. So there's a lot of interesting matchups potentially in this section. All right, next section of the draw. We've got number four seed Sidzi Pass getting a buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Monfils taking on uh, Eubanks. And Eubanks was the guy who beat Sidzi Pass at Wimbledon, of course. So that's going to be really interesting if we get a rematch there. And we all know what Monfils can do uh, when the crowd get up and about. So that's going to be a very tough start for Steph. Then you've got Echeverry taking on quarter. Winner of that will take on either Dimitrov or the number 14 seed Chorich in the second round. Then you've got the number 10 seed Felix Ogeliasim taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Sinego or Murray in the second round. Then we've got Barrett taking on Barrett. Tini, winner of that will take on the number seven seed Sinner in the second round. Again, just like the top half or the top section, this is a very interesting part of the draw. We've got potentially, like I said, Monfils or Eubanks taking on Steph. That's going to be interesting. But Berrettini Sinner could be a second round. Murray Ojeliasim could be a second round. Quarter versus Chorich. Very crazy second rounds. Even Dimitrov quarter would be interesting. And of course, this section of the draw will take on the Alcaraz section. So we could be getting Alcaraz taking on Sidzi Pass, which we've seen a lot and it doesn't end well for Steph. Or we could be getting Sinner versus Alcaraz which we would probably rather see because it's much more competitive. Or if Runa does the impossible, he might play Sidzi Pass or Sinner in the semis. And again, we've seen those guys play a few times. Uh, Sinner and, and Runa we've seen this year, and that was really interesting too. So again, this this top half of the draw is really, really fun. And we have a lot of potential matchups starting on day one. Now, let's go to the next half of the draw. Next quarter of the draw, we've got Rublev, the number six seed. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either McDonald or Karatsev in the second round. Then you've got Manorino taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Ryanic or the number nine seed, Tiafo. I mean, Big Foe gets the worst start. The big favorite from Canada who's finally coming back from tennis after years of not playing. That's a really tough start for Tiafo. Then you've got Zverev, the number 13 seed, taking on Grigsball. Winner of that will take on either Vakina or Wolf in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Lehechka. Winner of that will take on the number three seed, Kasper Ruud, in the second round. So again, Zverev versus Ruud, third round. That's a rematch of the French Open semis. Tiafo versus Rublev. Could be a, a rematch of what we saw last year in, the, I think, the quarters of the US Open. If Tiafo can get out of that nightmare part of the draw. And the bottom half of the draw, the bottom section of the draw, we've got Fritz, the number eight seed. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Umber or Jarry in the second round. Then you've got Diallo taking on Evans. Winner of that will take on either Diminor and the number 11 seed Nori in the second round. Then you've got the number 16 seed Musetti taking on Nishioka. Winner of that will take on either Song or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got Pospisil taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on the number two seed Daniel Medvedev in the second round. Medi Pospisil, that's a tough match for Medi. But uh, out of all the players, I think Medi would probably like his draw the most. And of course, this section of the draw will take on the Rublev section. So we could be getting Rude versus Medvedev or Rublev versus Medvedev. Either of those could happen, really, in the semifinals. So I, I don't like Medi's draw. I think Medi probably has the best draw out of the big four seeds. But who's going to win? Who's going to win in Canada? I mean, Alcaraz is the obvious answer because he can't lose. <laughs> can't lose. Who's he going to lose to? I mean, he hasn't lost for a long time. And the one time he did lose at the French Open in recent memory, uh, he cramped. So who can beat? beat Alcaraz? That's the question at this event. Uh, I think Medvedev might be able to sneak through and win as he, long as he doesn't play Alcaraz, and he's the furthest person away from Alcaraz in the draw, so that helps. But it's Alcaraz's to lose, right? I mean, maybe Sinner beats Alcaraz and Medvedev beats Sinner like we saw in Miami. That could happen if you want to pick Medvedev. Or is Runa or City Pass or someone else going to win this event? I mean, this event is random. As I said last you know, last year, we had Carino Busta beating her catch in the final, which is a little bit different to what we're used to seeing in these big finals. But very interesting draw again. Man, I mean, these 
one. This is a 1,000 event. Even though it's not a two-weeker, it still has so much going for it in the first couple of days. It, it's a crazy event, and it's going to be very like crammed, especially with the women's draw as well and the women's tournament going on at the same time. But uh, man, what a what an event! Canada is going to be really fun.